Hey guys, what's up? Dirk here. So just a quick tutorial on IDEX. I didn't have one, so I just want to make this for you to make it a little bit easier. Um, I haven't used it too much myself, but I've done a couple transactions. It actually is pretty easy. So the first two things that you need before you can do any buying or selling is you need to go to IDEX.market and you actually need to create an account with them. Okay, and what this means is basically you just need to go and sign up for an account. Um, I think there's a basic KYC requirement to be able to withdraw $5,000 um, a day. You go complete that. Once you've done that, that's done. Then you need the MetaMask extension over here. So if you haven't installed that just yet, um, head over to, I think it's MetaMask.io. Let's check it out. Yeah, so it's metamask.io. You can download this and you can install the extension. Basically, it's an Ethereum wallet for your browser. Um, if you haven't set that up, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna show you how to set that up in this tutorial. Um, I think a Google search, or it's pretty self-explanatory. You install the plugin, then you basically go and create a new wallet. So you'll get new backup phrases, seed phrases, which you obviously wanna write down with a pen and paper, not anywhere digital. You wanna make two copies and you wanna make sure you keep those nice and safe in different locations. Um, you know, protect them against water damage, fire damage, all that kind of stuff, because that is obviously your access to, um, to your wallet, okay? Then uh, the cool thing is that you can actually go and use MetaMask to actually make all sorts of payments. So it's, it's just an Ethereum based wallet. You can receive in it, and you can send from it. And, and once you have your F there, you just deposit to your address. Okay, so you'll get an Ethereum address, very easy. You can send to your MetaMask address from any other wallet from an exchange. You deposit your F in there, nice and easy. Basically MetaMask, it holds Ethereum, but it holds all ERC20 tokens too. So just like my Ether wallet, you can keep all sorts of Ethereum based tokens in there and you can actually access my Ether wallet with your MetaMask wallet. So. Once you have those two things, you've created an account on IDEX and you actually have the MetaMask plugin installed. What you want to go and do is you want to deposit um, from your MetaMask into IDEX. So what you're going to do is you connect your MetaMask. So you can see over here, there's many ways to actually connect your wallet. Um, you can obviously also do it with the Ledger hardware wallet and, and all sorts of things, but MetaMask is just easier. It's what I tend to use for IDEX. So you can see over here, you just go to select MetaMask you unlock the software wallet and that is basically it. Okay, so you connect um, your MetaMask. Then what you go and do is you can go to the balances over here so you can see what balances you have. And when you start out for the first time, you obviously have no balance on IDEX. So when you start over here, you have no balances you can see over here. So you can see my IDEX balance is virtually zero, but you can see this is my wallet balance, 0 0.19 ETH which is what I have in the wallet, as you can see over here, 0 0.19 ETH. So what I'd go and do is I'd simply just click on deposit over here. So I can just send the entire balance over here, basically click on deposit, just follow the steps on the screen. So basically preparing to send instruction over there, MetaMask will pop up asking me to confirm the transaction. So that's basically me just signing it. I click on confirm and then it says the deposit has been submitted. Usually it just takes a couple minutes, sometimes even less than a minute, and you'll see this will update and it will show um, the balance now in the IDEX balance, meaning that once you have it there, you can actually trade with it. So you can see my IDEX balance is now updated. This literally took less than a minute for it to update. I just cut out the waiting part to make it easier for the tutorial. And now I have that balance that I can go and trade with. So I can go over here and I can go and find whatever coins that I wanna trade. And you can see over here, um, USDT pairs, Ethereum pairs, various different pairs. And then it basically works like any different exchange. So you have your charts over here, which basically, you know, you can just change it to like an hourly chart. So IDEX usually contains a lot of Ethereum based tokens that haven't yet listed on larger exchanges. And this usually makes it kind of a go-to place. If you wanna buy any types of tokens early on before they are listed on major exchanges. Obviously this makes it a lot more risky because if a, a coin isn't on a large exchange, well, it's probably not gonna have a lot of liquidity and it might not end up you know, doing very well. There's a higher risk that it actually decreases in value or goes to zero. 
So the advantage would obviously be that because it's not listed on other exchanges and you get it early, usually the market cap is a lot lower, the price is a lot lower, and if the project works out and it takes off, well then you'd probably be able to get it at a much lower price if you got it early before it gets listed on big exchanges and becomes available to the masses. So I can't give you financial advice. You make your own decisions on your buy and sells. Whether you want to buy something or not, where you want to put your money is completely up to you. I just want to show you how this uh, exchange actually works. So what we're going to go and buy as an example in this specific case, we are going to look for the coin SNTVT, which is Centivate. So this is a low cap coin, as you can see over here in CoinGecko at this point in time, it's only a two point, almost $2.4 million market cap. So very, very small. Um, you can see when you go to the markets over here, in the markets tab, you can see where it's trading and you can see it's really not on a lot of markets. So it's on Uniswap, it's on IDEX and Hotbit pretty much. So uh, you can see over here, a lot of the volume is coming from Hotbit over here, but you can get some on IDEX too. And that's what I'm sharing you right now. So um, it's, it's a really low market cap. So it's a really low market cap and basically it just works like any exchange. So over here, when you select the coin for this example, it's SNTVT. You can see over here, my balance that I deposited to IDEX is 0 0.17 and I have the buy sell options over here. Now, again, you have a limit order and you have a market order. I personally never use the market order option because it means it can get filled at any price and it means you can way overpay um, when you're trying to buy something that get, get, gets filled at market meaning whatever is available. So I do not suggest to use that. I always suggest to use a limit order. So you can see over here, the last price is 0, 0 0.79. So if you're patient, you know, it depends what you want to do. You can bid a little bit under the current price so you can make it like 0 0.78 or lower if you want to wait um, for it to drop. If you just want to get it at that price, you can put in the limit order. It doesn't mean it's going to fill, but maybe you want to wait, you're not in a hurry. And if you want to get it really quickly, you can bid a little bit over the current price so it's 0 0.79 if I want it really fast I'm just gonna bid at 0 0.80 and what I can do over here is if I want to buy I, I just add my own balance right if I want to buy 0 0.1 um, basically I can put 0 0.1 ETH or if I want to buy um, everything um, in my balance so the 0 0.17 I can click on the total automatically fills it out and I would be able to get uh, 19,767 SNTVT. So if I want to buy it, I click on buy over here. MetaMask will pop up. I need to sign the transaction. And boom, that's it. Done. I bought 19,767. That's because I bid over the market price. So it's going to fill almost 100% of the time. Um, if I wanted it at a cheaper price, I could have bid lower and then maybe it would not have been instant because then it would have to wait for the price to come back down. But you can see over here, now I have. Um, now I have the SNTVT and um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That's very easy. So now I can sell it also back to ETH either way. So now what I can go and do is I can go and withdraw this back to MetaMask. So all I'd need to do is go back to the balances over here. I'd need to search for SNTVT and I'd simply click on withdraw over here. So I'd just type in, uh, or I can I can actually hide zero balances over here, very easy. And then just removes everything that doesn't have a balance. And you can see over here my SNTVT, my IDEX balance is the 18,245, which I just purchased. Um, I did, do think they took a fee of it, like, a, a, I don't know, how much was it? Like more than a thousand of, of this. It's not very much money. Um, it's literally about $5, I think. But yeah, that, that's probably the fee that came off over there. I, I didn't buy a lot worth. You can see $37 worth of SNTVT. So what I can go and do to get it off IDEX now, I can withdraw it back to MetaMask. And this is an ERC20 token. So MetaMask will actually hold it. And what I can go and do very simply is just click on withdraw. Um, then what I can do is withdraw the entire balance. Click on withdraw, confirm, sign the transaction. And within a couple minutes, those tokens should be off IDEX in my MetaMask and now I can send them anywhere I want from or within a MetaMask. And all I need to do is just go and add the custom token. So what that would mean is if it's not listed um, as a token already in MetaMask, what I'd go and do is I'd find the contract price and add the token. So you can see over here, um, first of all, I can just, 
uh, see if it's already listed. SN, no, it's not listed. So what I have to go and do is do a custom token. I find the token contract address. So how you can do that is simply go to etherscan.com and type in Centivate or the SNTVT. You can see over here, it'll give you the token and you can see over here, it has the contract address. So that's what you would need to put into MetaMask. You'd actually copy this, you'd go into MetaMask, um, you'd go to add token, custom token, you'd add in the contract address over here and you can see it will fill it out. And then when you click next, it will display your tokens that you've just withdrawn. And you can see over here now I have the SN TVT tokens in my MetaMask that I can use to send anywhere I want. Um, I can send this to my exchange, I can send it back to IDEX, whatever the case is, I can send it to another ERC20 wallet. And that's basically how it works. That's how to use IDEX with MetaMask and all of the in-between. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel below, click the notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below in the description. If you do want to check out more and you want to join my premium crypto education and community, go to intelligentcryptocurrency.com. The link will be in the description below where I break down how to use cryptocurrency, how it all works, different tools, tutorials. I publish a monthly newsletter. We've got a private Discord group and all of that good stuff. So if you do want more guidance and you want a community for cryptocurrency that has your best interest at heart, where you can get access to myself and, and request uh, tutorials. And if you need help with anything, you get your questions answered. That's the place to go. So thanks for watching. Hope this helped you. And I will see you in the next video.